Okay, we're going to check timing before I bolt the rest of the uh, timing case up and then go underneath and bolt the uh, sump up. So, it's locked. The camshafts are locked. And the locking pin for the crankshaft is in. Now the starter's removed. And what I've done is, hopefully you can see, I've made a mark on the flywheel and on the casing. So that's top dead centre. So, I'll show you the top dead centre for the cams if I can. Um, there you go. There's two marks there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the pin for the crankshaft. We're going to take that off and we're going to rotate the engine and those two marks should meet up and these let's get rid of this a minute and these cam lobes should be facing left as you look at the engine so let me just get the pin which is down here I couldn't reach for it Got it. See the pin is out. So what we're going to do is rotate the engine. So these cam lobes face to the left again. And then the crank. Just want to keep watching that. Okay. There's the pinhole. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, we're nearly there now. Couple of more turns. Now those marks are met up. There you go. Perfect. That should fit it easy and sit flat. So if I go around here now, those timing marks should be absolutely spot on. There we have it. Lovely. Okay, now let's see if we can put the pin back in. To reach the pin here. Yep. So the pins back in and that fits easily the engine is timed what I'm going to double check just give it another rotation I think just to make sure
So let's go round again. Oops. So the lobes are coming up now. Bit more. marks. Might have gone a bit too far but it should meet up perfectly, yep. Oh. Slip down. But yeah, that's it. To remove that easily. The pin is in the flywheel. Timing perfect. Now just get the rest of these bolts in. So I'll go and do that. And uh, we'll come back for the next part. <laughs> 